route Bernardino, otherwise known as the Cotte de Bancy. Made famous because it was the location of Bernard Hino's one and only World Championship victory, I think, 1980, where they did 20 laps of this small hill over and over again. It's featured in the Tour de France many times before and since, up and down. It's quite a popular route up between the Lower Valley and Majev. has an average gradient of 7%, but it's over 15% in a few sections. And to be honest, it's deceptively brutal. I'm basically at the top now. This is the first section where I've really been able to film and talk at the same time while riding. Most of it I need two hand there. Most of it I've needed two hands on the handlebars the whole way up. So yeah, I think that average of 70% is a bit of an understatement. It's only two and a half kilometers long and goes up about 250 meters. So it's a pretty small molehill really in Tour de France standards, but it's a category two climb. As I say, it's quite popular, especially with potatoes. So there's lots of easy vantage points for potatoes. Can't talk. Easy vantage points for spectators on this road. So yeah, it's a fan favourite. There's a bit of a strange call in that the top of the climb isn't actually the top of the climb. So the King of the Mountain points for the Category 2 climb are always awarded here, in the corner of this bend. But the vast majority of times in the tour, the route continues. The route continues further up that road there to Mergev, then onwards and upwards. So even though you crest this climb here, it's still going up for a few hundred meters yet. Although it does ease off from average of 7% just here to only 3 or 4% for the next few kilometers. So I guess it's a bit easier, even if it's not the end of the climb. So that's a fairly quick up and down for this video, but I'm off to do something a bit bigger now. So this is just my warm up. Just a bit of extra information. The tour was last here in 2021, so two years ago, on a pretty wet day, I believe. So I stood around for about four hours in the rain to watch them come past, and you see them for about 20 seconds as always. It also features quite regularly in the Criterium du Dauphiné as well, as do many of these Tour de France climbs, not surprisingly. Indeed, it's just a very popular route with all local cyclists, despite the fact that it's actually a pretty busy road, as you would have no doubt seen in this video. But this is what makes it worth it. This view 